This is Drew with Occupy Springfield, coming to you with something out of Occupy Springfield's R&D. We figured out a cheap, easy way to make all kinds of chalk, all kinds of different colors, because what we found is that chalking is a legal way to tag sidewalks in front of places we don't appreciate, like Chase Bank, Bank of America. And uh, now we're going to put some in front of Congressman Aaron Schock's office, so we've been making chalk for couple hours here and uh, this is how you do it. You mix, well you, your ingredients are plaster of Paris, prophylactics, and plastic tube you can buy at the hardware store that are used to store fluorescent lights. You cut them off into sections enough that uh, the prophylaxis can fit in there. You take one cup plaster of Paris, or two cup, one cup plaster of Paris to one cup of water. And then you also mix in one tablespoon of tempera paint. You mix the plaster for about five minutes, roughly. You gotta watch it because it seems runny at first, but as you mix it up, it seems to aerate and it starts thickening up. Here's your tempera paint in there. You want to mix it for long enough that <clears throat> it's still kind of runny, still kind of liquidy like a like a real milky milkshake because then it'll pour. If you wait too long it will firm up and you won't be able to pour it. But uh, we're about tubes. getting ready to pour here. Take a look at the the mix. Been about five minutes, about four or five minutes. It's starting to thicken up. You can feel it in there. It starts to get chalky. Got the mixture. When it pours right, it goes right in there. Oh God. In the end, <clears throat> this is what you get. Some people call it freedom chalk. I think I kind of like to call it shock chalk after Congressman Aaron Shock. He's a very sexy man. He uh, is on the cover of Men's Health. And I think he can appreciate the ingenuity and hard work that goes into making this chalk. It's been a long night here with Occupy Springfield. About ready for a highlight of the Champagne Jeff beers. As you can tell, we've thoroughly destroyed Chris's home. Let this be a warning for those of you who decide to partake in the making of shock chalk. It's a messy, messy business making this chalk. The chalk, it grinds at you. You fail, condoms break, things spill. You end up with things like this. You don't even want to know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> so, I'd like to turn your attention the large pile of shop chalk that we have created. Its distinctive style and unique method of production, I think, will end up making it a very popular way of making chalk for protest purposes, in addition to the fact that it's very cost effective. For some donated paint, a $10 bag of plaster, some water from the sink, and a mess. We got enough chalk to probably chalk Chase Bank, Aaron Schock's office, and the local branch of U.S. Bank three, four times over. But really, what I want to show you is this. I think this sums up the mood for the night.